I'm um, just going to lay down my white um, house paint. <clears throat> this is Glidden Essentials. I got this little tidbit of an info from um, Karen Dersha. She had a video out and she said that it tends to flow a lot better for Dutch pours and I tried it out and she was darn right. Anyhow, I'm very grateful to Shelly for putting out, oops, putting out this, um, this technique. And I have so much inspiration from Molly Molly's Artistry, Gina DeLuca, Jen Neal, Gosh, who else? Who else? Oh, Heather Mater. Gosh, she is so nice. I'm sorry, this is Nectar of the Gods for me. I follow Mina Villegas, and she's just amazing. She's got such a good spirit. Um, having, uh, I have a lot of gratitude too for finding this outlet too, because I just love to paint. I could paint every day. As a matter of fact, I painted three times today now. Anyhow, let's get down to business here. So I have color arts. This is Jasmine and Snapdragon mixed together. This is, uh, this is a pink flower color shift. And I have Americana premium acrylic paint. And that is in Peacock Teal. We have 24 karat gold by Decoart Metallics. Uh, this is also color art and it is Mediterranean blue. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I also have Amsterdam green blue. I'm gonna do the green blue by Amsterdam. Okay. Ooh, this is really thick. Now, what I usually do in this case, see folks, that's really super thick. Super thick. Um, in that case, what I would do is put a little bit of the varnish in. Thinning it out with water doesn't tend to work. Um, it makes your paint split and gives you flocculation. And I don't really worry about bubbles too much when I'm doing a Dutch pour. Now I'm going to put down my turquoise for my peacock teal. This was a gift from my cousin and I'm so grateful to her. And this is the Mediterranean blue. Now, like I said, I'm going to put a white cell activator down and pray that that works as good as the black did. That's not gonna be a problem, and it's thinner. This is thinner than the, the paints that I have. See, and when it when it drips like that, and it comes back up on the stick, but it kind of goes down, that's when it's the right consistency. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna put a lot down. I like a lot of cells, so there we go. Really, really happy Karen put that uh, video out about this uh, wooden essentials because it was like $18 for a gallon. You know, I've been paying $14 for a quart, you know, of my paint. So, and this does move a lot better on big canvases. So, um, Kudos. Thanks a lot, Karen. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. It's on cool. I'm going to put it on high because I want the paint to move quite a bit. And um, we'll just see how it goes.
Let's see what we've got here. All right, we do have quite a bit of cells. Got a lot of lacing coming up. These colors look really good. I might just blow some of it, but I do want to put a little bit more of the cell activator down. And you can do that. You're allowed. It's allowed. here. wondering what would happen if I didn't tilt, you know? What would happen? I mean, it might crack. That would not be good. But I think I've blown a lot of that paint off like that. Ugh. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. Ugh. Who would have thought it, you know? Who would have thought that he could do this? Nice, got it right in my turtleneck. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly here in, um, in Florida. Um, for Floridians, it is. And uh, don't usually wear a sweater. I'm usually in something a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna try and tilt some of this off. Let's see what happens to it. The cells open up a little bit. to take some of this off. Alright, here it goes. Good, I'm taping. Uh, okay. Around a bit. I like the composition a lot better this way. And then I'm gonna blow a little bit just to make it a little cohesive. Composition is much better. All right, <clears throat> let me see if I can blow some of this out to make it uh, a little more cohesive. So, so one good thing about this um, technique, when you don't get it on your sweater. <laughs> A lot of these cells starting to close up. I'm wondering if I can get them to open. All that lacing is kind of closing in on itself.
Oh, and there goes my sweater. How is this possible? Julie Cuts. Julie Cuts is also another marvelous, marvelous um, painter from Australia, which I'm wishing her well. I don't know what's going on over there. And I want to give a shout out to my pal in Australia, Bree Edge. She's an inspiration. And to Carlos in our um, Shelley Art Group. Anyhow, um, I think this is good. I think we're gonna call it. Of course, I say that now, and next time you see it, it might be totally different or scraped. Thanks, folks. Appreciate it. Uh, please like, share, and hit um, subscribe and hit the uh, bell for more um, videos. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take you guys down. Hang on. I'll turn you off and turn you back on. Oh, it looks like a little salamander right there. that lacing in this corner I am in love with <clears throat> it looks so uh, oh god it's just like shimmery and rainbowy and and this is really super soft up here um, the lacing got a little smushed but I'm not crying over it and uh, these colors are mixing so well they're playing really nice together and see how it's feathered right up there. <clears throat> and there's some more of the lacing. I just love that color combination. I really do. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. They really mix nice. They're playing nice together. So, and then there's a cluster of uh, cells and lacing and all the good stuff so anyhow that is it folks if i don't drop the camera in it i'm um i'm it's gonna be a good night and um i will let you go for now please subscribe like share and hit the bell and leave any comments below if you'd like thanks Just wanted to give you guys a look see at the drag result. This is an artist loft 20 by 20 gallery wrapped and um, it dried very, very nicely. I love the feathering up there. As a matter of fact, look at those colors. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it Peacock Feather. Just really happy with it. This one's gonna go into my show on Saturday at the Dania City Hall. Thanks for tuning in.